Hello everybody, I am everyone 9 and welcome to a brand new campaign in our Rise of Nations Extended Edition campaign series. So uh, this time we're going to be moving on to the Cold War right here, picking out a new campaign. And as you can see, we have it two different choices. We can either do the Americans or the Soviets. Um, and to be honest, guys, these are two completely different campaigns. Um, as you would expect when you take over, you know, the Warsaw Pact or you take over NATO, you kind of get different play styles. Um, I'll tell you right now, uh, I have no clue who I'm going to pick first. At this exact moment, I do not. This random, though, does. So whichever one I get is whichever one I get. And what we will do is the next campaign will be about playing the opposite nation. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in with a start campaign on random. Who do we get? Winston Churchill said, an iron curtain has descended across Europe. World War II is over, and now the former allies find themselves on opposite sides. The Soviets control half of Europe, but it seems this is not enough for them. Your forces are the only obstacle standing between them and their plans of global domination. You can wait for them to attack first, or you can take decisive action when you launch your own campaign to conquer the world. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be the Americans this time. So, as Winston Churchill said, an iron curtain has descended across Europe. World War II is over, and now the former allies find themselves on opposite sides. The Soviets control half of Europe, but it seems this is not enough for them. Your forces are the only obstacle standing between them and their plans of global domination. You can wait for them to attack first, or you can take decisive action when you launch your own campaign to conquer the world. The Americans have the power of innovation. Governments at the Senate are free. Receive one free scholar at each new university. Aircraft and carriers are 20% cheaper. Receive one free bomber at each airbase starting in modern age. These don't count against ramp-up costs. 20% cheaper military unit upgrades. We receive plus three food, timber, metal, and wealth for every barracks unit, except when garrisoned. We start Conquer the World campaigns with a Build Wonder bonus card. Uh, at the same time, we also get these three wonderful unique units. We get the Marine Infantry in the mod as, uh, and we also get the Assault Marines taking over both of our uh, infantries. And our Range Cavalry is going to be the Humvee in the Information Age. There's more info. I'm sure that makes us like really wonderful. Yeah, there's all kinds of talks about how the you know the Americans are. Um, I did find it funny in the bottom right hand corner, I didn't mention it, but it's pretty much saying this map is very simplified to let us know that this map is not trying to really accurately get the geopolitical landscape. Just thought it was funny. Um, you can go back and read that. Anyways, this is our intelligence. This is very important for us to know. Um, it's pretty much telling us that the devastation caused by World War II has left our European allies and NATO in, uh, in poor shape. We will have to rebuild their territory straight into level three or they might switch their allegiance. We may not have many armies, but we can station them in these territories to settle unrest for one turn. Soviets are planning to send troops to uh, North Korea next turn at the behest of their North Korean friends. The United Nations is also planning to send a peacekeeping force to the area, which they would like us to lead. If we fail to commit troops, we risk losing the entire peninsula to the Soviets. Victory conditions. Uh, let's see. Win the game by destroying the Soviets or by increasing your total industry income to 50 tribute higher than that of the Soviets. So, uh, there's things like DEF CON. I mean, there's different stuff here. There's this DEF CON meeting, meter right here. Five being that we're at war. We do have the nuclear launch keys, nuclear launch buttons. We can buy missiles with tribute. We can do these espionage missions. This is, it's really different. So, uh, and we also have like client states. Like Cuba right now is a client state of ours. So client states are pretty much like vassals. Um, and here's NATO over here. Nice and green. Kind of, you can now see that. Um, so our main goal is to keep just enough tribute to begin doing things, I guess. Um, we don't want to end a turn. So I do want to go in here to South Korea. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build up some... A few of our forces over here, I'm going to do an espionage, and then we'll see where we're at as far as our tribute. We're starting with 100. So anyways, uh, espionage mission right here, I guess. And look at this, prevail over the Soviets. That's our win. Are you sure you wish to launch it? Yes. This will cost 20. Let's do it. All right. 
This is going to be called Missile Strike. Intelligence report the Soviets have placed missile silos and oil producing facilities in the Crimean Peninsula and the Ukraine. Your objective is to destroy the missile silos, oil wells, and oil refineries. Your spies have the special ability Missile Strike for this mission. This ability replaces Infiltrate. Missile, missile Strike allows spies to target buildings for cruise missiles. Reward, destruction of an enemy nuclear missile, or two sabotage bonus cards. So I guess I get some cool stuff for being able to complete this. Meanwhile, though, we've got to get in here to the Ukraine. We have to destroy the refinery at Sevastopol. We must destroy the oil wells in the central region of the peninsula. And destroy the missile silos located somewhere northeast of Simperol. So this is Armiant, so we're not going up there. There's Simperol right here. So there's missile silos nearby. There's the oil near it. Might be there's some more oil nearby as well. And then there's missile... Let's see. Refinery in Sevastopol, which is... Somewhere. No, just an office building. There's a refinery. Okay. We have landed. So let's move on. Okay, we're going to call in... Let's go up here first. Let's just get out of the realm for where anybody might be able to see us. Okay. Missile strike. Missile strike. Cruise missile incoming. They did not have cruise missiles early on in this. Let's kind of continue around the north. I don't want to get hit by anything. There's a cruise missile. Destroyed one oil. Two oil. We'll missile strike this one for the third oil. I want to send you guys off over here. Special forces. I don't know what they're up to. Here's the missile sites. Or one of them. There goes all the oil wells now considered down. I want to send you up to here. Missile strike. Missile strike. Missile strike. Missile strike. I don't believe there's anything up north, so let's move on. Here it comes. It actually can hurt things around it. I didn't know that. Here they come. Is there another one? I don't remember. Doesn't appear to. We'll just go ahead. Nope. Won't do it. There goes all the missile silos. Now let's move around over to here. That refinery is way down here. I'm going to put an indication that I want you guys to get there and do that. This is what espionage missions are kind of like. You get a set number of units, and you got things you have to do to try to tip the scales in your favor. There's Yalta, by the way. Famous Yalta conference was there. They did it there so that uh, Stalin didn't have to go that far. There she goes. Let's wait for the cruise missile, and we'll actually move to an exfiltration location. Not that I have to do that, but I just would like to. There's a Lenin statue. If this guy gets hit too, oh, I'm going to laugh. Cruise missile's terrible. As a result of our successful mission, a nuclear missile in Eastern Europe has been destroyed. Nice. Good job. 
There's a quick little thing done there. All right. Um, so I've got, this is already, NATO's already level three. I don't know how, so I've already used 20. So my tribute's already up there. I don't know how much it costs to do, like if I wanted to go here, Oh, that'll cost me 20 tribute. Okay. No, we don't want to go there yet. I think that'll end the turn. I want to go ahead and pump up these places. There's upgrade territory strength. So I want to go one, two, three, and I'll have 20 tribute left, which is okay. If I just slowly increase these guys that need to be increased, that might help me. Um, it's like here, here, and here, and the next one should then keep those areas from having to jump up. I can then put my police, uh, my armies down here to police them if needed. Um, okay. All right, guys. Um, I do have other armies. I can move my armies um, pretty much anywhere, honestly. I mean, as you can see, I could come move my army right here. I don't have to do like side by side like I have been before. These are already at three. Oh, this is at one. I don't know if Greenland would switch though. Doesn't make sense if it does. Yeah, and then Australia is fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do I'm just making sure of this. Yes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and end this episode here. We'll make a nice, short, simple, early one. Next time we're going to come in and we're going to fight in South Korea. So, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If this is your first time ever coming to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the, uh, the bell notification. That way you guys get the reminders of these videos when they come out. Also, make sure to like and uh, comment on these videos as well. I'd love to hear your uh, output or your input. Tell me uh, favorite conflicts going on during the Cold War. If it was Vietnam, South Korea, uh, all kinds of things went down. Uh, wars in Afghanistan. I mean, all kinds of cool stuff happened over those course of the, what, 50 years that the Cold War was. So uh, my personal favorite was in 1990. I was born. <laughs> no, just kidding. No, my favorite uh, moment would probably have to be the Cuban Missile Crisis. That if I have to look back and research anything that would be my favorite so anyways all right guys i appreciate y'all so much for watching and i'll see you all next time